Hey guys, another right dev here. Welcome back to another video. If you guys want to know how to make an obby checkpoint system with data store, then make sure to watch to the end of this video. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so I'm in my base plate here, and the first thing we actually need to do is make our obby. So I'm just going to put a time lapse of me making a simple obby. Alright guys, so I'm done with my obby. As you can see, it's very simple. So now that we have our obby, we're going to add in a folder into workspace. And we can go ahead and rename this folder to obby checkpoints. And then we can put all of our checkpoints that are in our obby inside of this folder here. And then we're going to number them. So the starting checkpoint will be checkpoint 1. So let's name it 1. This checkpoint will be checkpoint 2. This checkpoint will be checkpoint 3. And this will be checkpoint 4. And make sure that they're numbered in the right order. So now we're going to script part of our leader stats. So in server script service, we can add in a script and name it to leader stats. So the first thing we can do is create a variable for the spawns folder. So we can do local spawn fold is equal to game dot workspace call await for child and we're gonna get the obby checkpoints folder and then we can do local default spawn is going to be equal to spawns fold call await for child and we're gonna get the first checkpoint so then we can go down two lines and we're gonna create a function that runs when a player joins the game so you can do game dot players dot player added colon connect function and we can name it to player and then we're gonna make it so that the player spawns in the default spawn area when they first join the game because right now if we were to play it we're just gonna spawn at a random spawn area so you can see i just spawned in the second checkpoint and we don't want that so we can do player dot respawn location is equal to default spawn then we can create a variable for leader stats so we can do local leader stats is equal to instance dot new and we're gonna make a folder and we're gonna set the parent of the folder to the player and we can name it to do leader stats so we can do leader stats dot name it's going to be equal to leader stats and then we're going to create a variable for our level so we can do local level equals to instance dot new we can create an int value and set the parent of it to leader stats we can do level dot name is going to be equal to level and level dot value is going to be equal to one and we're going to change this later but for now it's going to equal one so now if we start it you can see i spawn in and i'm level one and i spawn in at the default spawn area now we need a way to actually be able to level up and not level up get new checkpoints and make this our new spawn area before we get to scripting our checkpoint changing script we're going to need to add in a value for every checkpoint two three four and above so every checkpoint that's not this first one we can go ahead and add in a value or an int value we can go ahead and name it to check point num so you can name it checkpoint num and then you're going to set that value to be whatever checkpoint this is so since this is the second checkpoint we're going to set the value of it to two and we can just go ahead and copy it and paste it into all of our spawns as long except for the first spawn and change the value to match the title so after you've inserted that into all the checkpoints you can click on the second checkpoint and we can go ahead and add in a script and we can go ahead and name this to checkpoint changer to start we can create a variable for the checkpoint itself so we can do local checkpoint is going to be equal to script dot parent and we can set the checkpoint number so we can do local checkpoint num is going to be equal to checkpoint colon wait for child and we can get the checkpoint number and then we can do dot value so now we're going to create a function that runs whenever our checkpoint is touched. So we can do script.parent.touch colon connect function and we can name it to hit. And now we're going to check if whatever touched the checkpoint was a player. So we can do if hit.parent colon find first child and we'll get the humanoid. Then we're going to check if the player is alive because we don't want their dead body getting the checkpoint. So we can do if hit dot parent dot humanoid dot health is greater than zero then so if they're alive and they're not dead when they reach the checkpoint we're going to set a variable for their player so i can do local 
player equals to game dot players colon get player from character and we're gonna get hit dot parent so now we're gonna check if they have already gotten this checkpoint or not because we don't want them getting a checkpoint they've already completed by accident and then having to redo everything all over again so we can do if player player dot leader stats dot level dot value is greater than the checkpoint num then so if their level is less than this checkpoint, then we're gonna give them this checkpoint. So if they're on level one, this is level two. So this will be set to one and this is two. So they'll receive the checkpoint. We can just print out a message real quick in the output. So you can print player dot name dot dot then quotations space has reach level and then space out of the quotations you can do another two dots and then checkpoint none then we can make their leader stats match that value so you can do player dot leader stats dot level dot value is going to be equal to checkpoint num and we can set their respawn location to the checkpoint so they spawn here so player dot respawn location is equal to checkpoint and else so if they have already gotten this checkpoint so you can just do print checkpoint already obtained so now we can just copy this script and paste it into the rest of our checkpoints so now if we test it out like a real obby if we, oops, oops. If we beat level one, you can see it says netherite dev has reached level two. And then after that, it says checkpoint already obtained. And then you see up here, it says level two. Now, if I were to die, you can see I respawn right here. Now, if I were to get to level three, you see it says netherite dev has reached level three, checkpoint already obtained. And if I, even again, if I were to go back, it says checkpoint already obtained. Now, if I were to get to level four, you can see it says I've reached level four, and now I'm level four. And you can, of course, have as many stages as you would like. So if you just came here for the checkpoint system, that's it. You can leave. But there's still one problem, though, and that is when you leave the game, your data won't save. So we're going to need to script our leader stats. I mean, not our leader stats, our data store. Now, I personally have no idea how to script data store. So I use Gnome to code tutorial for this. In my opinion, he's honestly the best tutorial YouTuber out there. You should check him out. I have his data store video in the description. It's the best data store video I've ever found on YouTube. that should be it and before we test it out i forgot to mention this earlier we need to go to settings and then security we're going to enable studio access to api services so that way the game can save our data that is required and now we can go ahead and test it out 
And again, ignore this message down here. It's for this plugin right here that I have. So just ignore it. So you see, we spawn in at level one. Let me just delete the base plate real quick. And if I were to make it to level two and then leave the game or stop it, you can see it prints out data saved and then my user ID. So if I were to play it again, I do Bruh. not have my data. All right, guys, I figured out my mistake right here. It needs to be return ds colon get sync so we need to add in this return right here so now if you play it once i get to the second checkpoint if i leave the game or stop it and then replay it i should spawn in at level two please yep there you go as you can see i spawned in at level two so now if i were to make it to level three then say i had to go eat dinner or something so i stopped the game and then once i replay it i should be at level four or level three yeah here we go as you can see it works anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye